This session, we are happy to introduce a terrific session called Avatar Personalization with Classic Avatars. Our speaker today is Beth Ghostraven. Beth Ghostraven is a middle school librarian and owner of the Book and Tankard Pub in Victoria City, Caledon, and the Ghost Raven Professional Attire at the OSCC Expo Zone 5 in OpenSim. She's Communications Chair for the Virtual Worlds Best Practices in Education Conference, Communications Chair for ISTE Virtual Environments Network, and is the uh, Liaison for Education Groups and Virtual Worlds. Welcome all. Let's begin the session. Hi, I'm Beth Ghost Raven. I'm filling in at the last minute, and I hope there aren't any horrible mistakes in this presentation. This may be way too much info all at once, but I'll put the slides on the web for you later. Part of the learning curve for teaching and learning in Open Simulator and virtual other virtual worlds is the need to personalize one's avatar. Teachers need their appearance to enhance and not detract from their instruction. Students need to feel immersed in order to learn effectively, and personalizing their avatars, in my opinion, contributes to this. This presentation will help you to explore some possibilities for making your avatar and clothing look like you want them to look. I love mesh for buildings, furniture, and shoes, and jewelry, but not for clothing. Our feet look basically the same, but our avatar shapes do not. I don't have a standard avatar shape, and most mesh clothing does not fit me well. My body image struggles in real life or physical life have left me with a philosophy that all of our shapes have value, whether they are standard or not. Especially if you don't have a standard shape, classic clothing may work better for you, as it does for me. Although OpenSim does not have anything in the library part of the inventory for clothing, um, these classic avatars from the Federal Consortium of Virtual Worlds and more are available in the shopping zone um, right here at OSCC. These are decent looking starting points and you can mix, mix and match pieces of all of these. I would encourage you to pick up everything there. The um, images in this are female, but there are, um, I think, an equal number of um, clothing and body types for male avatars too. There are also freebies all over the open sim grid, but finding them can be a little tricky and time consuming. I will have free clothing in my shop on Expo, Expo Zone 5 as soon as I can get it ready, and they'll be available all year. The shop is to the east of the landing point. The instructions and screenshots in this presentation are from the Firestorm viewer. Permissions are one of the trickiest parts of virtual world clothing. Um, yes, there are AOs in the shopping center and that's one of the most crucial parts of um, appearance. That's something I need to add to this presentation. Something might say no modify in your inventory when it's actually only the script inside that can't be changed. So try it and see. If the item doesn't have any permissions listed after it, it's full perm, so you can change it in whatever way you want. In this presentation, classic avatars and clothing are defined as any non-mesh avatars and clothing. Shapes and skins work together to make the basic avatar body. This shows the difference between shape and skin and how they work together to create an avatar. The Carla shape and skin are from the Linden Lab Library in Second Life. Um, 
if you go to the VWBPE conference or to my shop in Second Life, I have um, a whole panel that shows all of the different combinations. When you're modifying something, make a copy first. It's really easy to totally mess something up when you're trying to customize it. If the item is not copyable, check with the designer to see if they'll give you another copy of the item. Many designers are easy to work with and they're happy to share things. So this is how you edit a shape. Um, you find your shape in the inventory that you're wearing. That'll be what's in boldface. And you um, either click the wrench icon and edit it or um, you can right click on the shape and in inventory and click edit. So these are the sliders. When you're editing your shape, there are a bunch of different tabs at the top and you can go across the tabs and just play with the sliders and see what you come up with. So these are um, the eye tab. You can change how your eyes look on your avatar. Um, this avatar doesn't look like my Second Life avatar, which is shown in the picture, but I tried to get it as similar as I could. The icons on the right, um, except for the alpha layer, which is the um, crosshatch shirt, show system items in your inventory. If you show only clothing in your inventory, these will be the only things that show up. Remember, make a copy first before you edit anything. So in this jacket, the upper fabric is a template created in Photoshop, which cannot be altered in virtual worlds. Because it's in grayscale, though, it can be recolored by clicking the color tint box, and that opens up the color picker. Um, I use the hex codes a lot, so you can click on hex and get exactly the color you're looking for. Um, make sure that you click OK when you've got the color you want before you close the color picker box. So prim clothing and hair shows up as cubes on the inventory as objects. And except for the um, AO or animation overrider, you can wear or res the object and edit it. It's a good idea to use a pose stand and I'll try to, um, I, I, there must be a free pose stand somewhere in, um, in OpenSim. <laughs> I think I've got one I can put out. In the wearing or worn tab of inventory on the top there, um, or you can click the appearance um, menu, you can right click on an object and choose edit. Even if the object can't be modified, if it is non-mesh, it can be moved. Um, I usually have to lower my necklaces and shorten my skirts because my avatar is shorter than the usual in Second Life or in virtual worlds. Some items have resized scripts in them. If that's the case, do not edit it, but click on the object to open the resize menu. Be sure to make a copy before you make any changes if possible. Sometimes you can do both. You can resize it and you can edit it to get it in just the right place on you.
What questions do you have? You can type questions in chat if you want. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> We're getting some comments in. It looks like um, some comments on customization, needing a lady's maid to dress Edith. <laughs> and Kayaker uh, asks for a lady's maid also. Well, any questions from the audience? And Joyce is going to get some links for various avatars. Of course, at the OSCC Shopping Zone here at the OSCC conference, we have um, additional uh, content, including some of the animation overrides that people ask for and um, the these avatars and various materials to customize your, your look. If you have questions, please direct them to Beth Ghost Raven. I want to thank her for providing this great content today.